Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Rent and Reflex. When I first saw the teaser trailer for this film, I didn't really sense much originality or creativity in its setup. But like the old saying, you can't judge a book by its cover, you can't judge a movie based on the trailer alone. And boy, was I in for quite a surprise when I finally checked the movie out. The story takes place in ancient times in a place called Kumandra, which gets ravaged one day by evil spirits known as the Drone. A female dragon named Sisu compresses all of her magic into a gem and uses it to banish the Drone. A power struggle over the gem divides the people of Kumandra into tribes, and through certain circumstances, the gem ends up getting broken and stolen by each of the tribes. This reawakens the Drone, so it's up to the courageous warrior Princess Raya to find the missing pieces of the gem and seek Sisu's help once again. Along the way, she makes some new friends and learns the true meaning of trust. There isn't much for me to say about this film without really giving anything away other than it's excellent. It really does have a sense of originality and creativity in its setup. In addition to that, it's got some incredibly gorgeous animation, engaging action scenes, an inviting atmosphere, and very humorous moments. I especially like how it wonderfully works in the theme of trust into the storyline. If I had to nitpick, I felt that parts of the dialogue were a little too modern, but that's probably about the only way for audiences to really connect with the characters, which this movie does really well at. With smooth slickness and agility, it brings on a sense of wonder and magic that only Disney can provide. Also, much like fresh drinking water, it provides a sense of purity, joy, and wholesomeness to those who see it. If I were to rate the film on a scale between 1 and 10, I'd give it a 9. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.